Hi, this is Maria B of Maria B Photography Shop and I'm going to be showing you how I can adjust some of the colors on my original watercolor logo designs. Um, the first step for me, normally because these are original paintings that are done flat on a single sheet of paper, um, so I scan them into the computer and I edit them to make them um, clean them up a little bit. So you take the layer and copy it and then what I do is select the area that I'd like to change. So let's say I want to make this orangish red color slightly different or a different color. So I go to select color range and I click on that and here you can see um, the area that it's going to select and I can make that a higher percentage or lower. Um, I don't want to do too much because this is the reddish or orangey color that I want to change rather than the more pinkish kind. Um, so I'll just kind of select so what I can do at this point is change the hue um, and I can do that by going to hue saturation and kind of, you know, I can move this around a little if I want to make it slightly different. Um, this kind of makes it more purpley. I can change the saturation. It makes it look kind of neon, so I don't always do it like that, but um, I can. Also, what I can do is um, I see if you can tell a little bit that it's like more pink now. Um, if you just like the change on this part and not necessarily the rest of it, I would do like a layer mask and just kind of erase the um, the other part that you don't want to have changed, you know, just kind of go over it and mask all that out so that you can see, just, you know, I'll zoom it in. So another thing you can do is do uh, copy the layer Go to image, adjust, and replace color, and then select the color you'd like to replace again. You just do this to increase the area of the color that you'd like to replace, and then you can go um, to the color picker and basically choose any color. Now the problem with this method is you kind of have to do it over and over again to make it look good but I'll show you that it's entirely possible to change all the colors and make it look realistic. So um, the easiest way to do it is to use a color that's already in your picture because then, you know, it kind of makes it easier to blend a little bit better because if you choose a color that's completely, totally different, you know, it's going to stick out. But anyways, I'll show you how you can. Let's say somebody wants purple flowers instead. So I select like a deep purple, okay? Um, after you select the color, you can change the, the fuzziness and decide, you know, you want more or less. So I do that, okay? And then what I do is I go back, go to image, adjust, replace color, and then select like the next level, um, you know, next shade down and kind of, you know, choose a lighter, a little bit lighter shade. Okay? And then I do it again. You know, I just keep messing with it until it looks more realistic. Um, so, if you kind of go back and forth, you can see, I mean, 
it's not complete completely the same as far as texture and everything but it's pretty close um, you can also just kind of fade it if you wanted to just slightly alter the colors like that um, and then if you you could continue on the same layer or I mean I normally would do different layers just so that I could keep them separate but you could keep going back and just doing that so like maybe I want to change this color to be to blend in better with like the purples um, okay now see you can see how like this orangey area doesn't really fit anymore um, when you take into account now everything else is kind of purpley so you go to image I just keep doing this until all the colors fit in the family of colors that I want to do and kind of I mean it's kind of fun you know to do it um, just keep kind of adjusting until I'm right there now you can see that like the leaves kind of alter purple too so what I would do again is just kind of mask those out and you know because the tones in there were kind of oops kind of more pinkish yellow and now that I've changed um, replace some of the colors you know kind of so I mean I'm not doing a very clean job here just because I'm trying to do it quickly but you can see how you just mask it out and suddenly the the original colors that were there show back through which are more leafy colors and that's it it's pretty simple it's not not too difficult um, if you make a mistake obviously go back and fix it like that and let me just zoom out so you can see the difference um, I would probably just fade this a little like that and there you go okay. and now you have an, the ability to customize the colors of the flowers so you can uh, match your design to the colors that are wanted just like that and that's it